what's up, I'm Brian here, doing another video for you guys, and this time we're talking about the Transformers Netflix War for Cybertron Siege trailer. So a new one just dropped, and we also got confirmation of how many episodes we are getting. There's been a lot of rumors, we were told that we will only get two episodes for the first part. I believe I heard someone say that we would get 20 episodes for the first part, and that seems like a lot. Well, actually, for the first part, which is Siege, we are going to get a total of six episodes that will last around 22 minutes. So that's quite a lot for something that's just based directly on the toys and not just a show first and then we have the toys. Which, by the way, that's why a lot of the designs look like the toys because the toys were designed first and then the show was made based around that. I know a lot of people say that, oh, this is lazy and it's not letting artists do what they want because they're just basing it off the toys. What you guys don't realize is the artists are the toy designers now for this time. Uh, it's much like the Transformers Cybertron show. So it's kind of going the other way around. Anyways, uh, taking a look at some of the big things that were in this. I'm not going to show too many screenshots because I tried to upload the trailer and as soon as I did I got a copyright uh, notice for it. But anyways, uh, some of the things to note is that Ultra Magnus seems to be working with the Decepticons at some point. I'm not entirely sure what degree. Uh, it seems like he was tortured in one scene, so I'm not sure if he's being threatened or if he's been altered or something, or if he's going in wi uh, willingly and then later on he's being tortured. Who knows exactly, but there's something going on with Magnus. Uh, there also seems to be maybe something going on with Dark Energon based on the previous trailer. It seems like we're getting zombie cons, which would make sense given the fact that this show would most likely lead to Unicron eventually. We also get some new faces that we didn't see in any of the previous trailers. We get to see Shockwave, we get to see Spinister, we get the first sighting of Omega Supreme, so that's awesome. I didn't think that we would get Omega Supreme. I know that's a big part of the Siege toy line, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we would get him in the show. There also seems to be something big going on with Bumblebee. If I had to make a guess, I'm thinking it has something to do with the Allspark given that the AllSpark is very similar to what we see in Transformers Cyberverse, and uh, Bumblebee had some sort of connection with the, the AllSpark, I guess, maybe, something. <laughs> I have to rewatch the show. I just remember there was a scene where Bumblebee was glowing holding the AllSpark. I just imagine that Bumblebee will be in possession of it at some point. We also do get a, another bird-like character that uh, is one of the the Soundwave minions, so I'm guessing that that is Buzzsaw. I couldn't really get a clear look, and most of the lighting is red, so I'm not entirely sure if it's actually gold or if it's just another laser beak that they're just putting in, uh, but I would imagine it's Buzzsaw. We also get Ratchet and Ironhide, so that's good, um, but uh, yeah, it seems pretty exciting. Um, we also get a whole bunch of just repaints of other characters as generics. Like, we get Hound, we get Seekers. There was one of the Seekers that seemed like it was working for the Autobot side, um, but maybe the Autobots just dragged that Decepticon in and accepted it. I don't know, because he was weak? I, I don't know exactly. But uh, it seems interesting. I'm glad that we're getting six episodes, because I thought we were only getting two for the first part. I think that this show definitely needs more than just uh, two episodes. Um, at least for this part, because it's the early days of Cybertron, and it makes it a little more exciting. Uh, hopefully it's not super long, because they're dragging out the voices, because when you listen to the trailer, oh my god, they just drag on the lines. But, um, my initial thoughts is, yeah, I'm kind of excited for this now. Um, I, I'm not gonna be too hyped for it, but it does look pretty decent. Um, I, I like the Siege toy line anyways, so I like the designs as is, and uh, seeing Spinister and, and Ratchet and Ironhide and all of them, yeah, that's pretty cool. Also, Shockwave's voice is a little weird, but yeah. I'm sorry that this was a little more rambling, there's not really much I want to discuss except for some of the new things that we can actually spot, but uh, I will link the trailer down in the description below. With that out of the way, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudettes, and I will see you guys next time.